Welcome to your yoga practice. Today we're going to do a flow that incorporates some opportunities to do some cardio and to just have fun moving. So we're going to shake things up, we're going to fly a little bit, um, and just have fun with it. The intention is not that we're being perfect with these movements. The intention is that we're getting our heart pumping. Maybe we're trying to move some like negative energy through or maybe we're really excited about something or stressed out and we just need a, to move it all out. Awesome, okay. So let's come to the front of our mats. To stand up, we'll take a few sun salutations. A, we'll break down the first one and then we'll just go for it for the next few. All right, we bring your arms up as you inhale. Arms all the way up to the sky. Look up at your hands. And exhale, swan dive down, bending from your hips all the way down. Bring your hands towards the mat. And then inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine, look forward. Fingertips can be on your shins. And exhale, plant your hands down, stepping back, high plank. For this one, inhale in your high plank. And then exhale, lower all the way down to your mat coming through your chaturanga all the way down. Untuck your toes and then inhale, shoulders back as you come into kind of a medium cobra. So your pubic bone is still on the mat. You're looking forward, your shoulders are back, you're proud, you're getting this nice back bend. And then exhale, press back through tabletop, tucking your toes under, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. All right, so from now on you can stay with that or I'm just gonna go straight from high plank to low plank from now on. All right, inhale, look forward in between your hands. Maybe you come up onto your toes. For this one, go ahead and just tippy toe forward towards your hands. Bring your feet to hips with distance apart. Forward fold over your legs. And then inhale, halfway lift. Taking the extra breath that time. Exhaling forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. Arms up, look up at your hands. Exhale, hands to your heart. All right, let's ramp it up. Inhaling, arms up. Look up, exhale forward fold, hinging at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, hands plant down, stepping back, high plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Maybe you come up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, travel forward. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Hinging at your hips all the way down. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling forward, fold, hands down, stepping or jumping back, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, looking forward in between your hands. Exhaling to travel. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up to stand. Arms up, look up. Exhaling, forward fold. We'll do two more. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, hands down, stepping or jumping back. High plank to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Maybe you come up onto your tiptoes and then exhale to travel however you would like. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to stand. Arms up, look up, last one. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, planting the hands down, taking your vinyasa high plank to low plank. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward in between your hands. Maybe you come up onto your tiptoes. Exhaling to fly forward or step forward. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to stand. Arms up, look up. 
Exhale, hands to your heart. And breathe. Awesome. So your heart is already pumping. And we will get it pumping even more. Awesome. Hmm. All right. So let's get some <laughs> cardio from our down dog. So let's come into down dog. We'll flow there. Inhaling, arms up, look up. Coming all the way up into mountain pose and exhale, hinging at the hips, coming down, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, straighten the spine, looking forward. Exhaling, planting the hands down, stepping back into your high plank. Inhale, high plank, and then exhale, just push back into your downward facing dog. All right, so from here, really plant your hands down and pull them out apart with your hands. That'll turn on the outer arms. And come forward just slightly so that your shoulders come forward a little bit. Come up onto your tiptoes and then lift the right leg up. We're gonna do some hop switches and these can be really small. So you can just lift up the right leg, set it down. Lift up the left leg, set it down. Or when you lift up the right leg, you can just do a nice little hop, set the right leg down, lift up the left leg. Little hop, set it down, set it down the left leg, lift up the right. So you can do nice little hops like that. Or you can start to hop switch really low. So just a slow little switch as you switch, which foot is down, a little hop switch. Or you can make them bigger so you can jump you can glide up a little further as you hop switch. So taking a few of those, the goal is not to come into a handstand at all or to come up super high. The goal is to get your heart pumping and to do something fun. Hopefully it is fun. We Do one more on each side. Come into your downward facing dog and then step the right foot forward, settle the left knee down, come up into your high crescent lunge here. And just breathing into this. Hmm. Really plant that right foot down, plant the left lower leg down and then it's like you're dragging your right heel towards your left knee. Belly button towards your spine, really activate here. And then plant your hands down, step back into that downward facing dog. This time step the left foot forward, right knee down, coming up into that low lunge. So again, making this active. Just finding some stability, some grounding <laughs> before we get into our next little round of cardio. All right, plant your hands down, stepping back into your downward facing dog. All right, so two options. We're going to come into a malasana. And you can do that by stepping your right foot outside your right hand, your left foot outside your left hand, and then settling down into your malasana, or you can do a little hop and land your feet outside your hands. So come to your malasana however you would like. And then once you're there, it's really easy to just sit in this pose. So instead, I want you to push into the balls of your feet and your heels and feel yourself lift up. Awesome. Cool. So fine. A little bit of grounding here, a little lift, some strength. And from here, we are going to lift up. So lift up all the way to standing, reach your arms up, and exhale all the way back down. We'll do that four more times. Inhaling all the way up, exhaling all the way down. Inhaling up. 
exhaling down. Let's just do two more for good measure. <laughs> Inhale up. It might be one more than I said. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. All right, plant your hands down and then set that left foot back. So we're in a high lizard's lunge. And we will have two options for this. We are going to be <laughs> switching our legs. So step the right leg back, left leg forward. Left leg back, right leg forward. You can continue with that, just nice casual stepping, or maybe you hop to switch. So do a few more, taking whatever you'd like. So maybe stepping back, or maybe hopping. So whatever feels good to you today. Step back into your downward facing dog when you are ready. And then knees up wide, toes to touch, child's pose. Whew. All right. And so you can be in a full child's pose. I'm just going to talk to you a little bit. So I just want to have my head up so that I can be heard. All right, so next we're going to try those hop switches again. And then we'll take another little break in a forward fold. And then after that, we're just gonna try some frog hops or some hops. So you might want to get closer to a wall once we're there and I'll remind you. So I'm gonna give you a little scope of what's next. And that'll be it. We'll do a very, very short cool down just to settle down. All right. My heart's pumping, maybe yours is too. Let's keep it going. So coming into your downward facing dog. Hips up and back. And then again, bringing those shoulders forward. Maybe you shorten your stance slightly. Lift up the right leg. And you remember your options. You can just change your legs. You can little, do little hops one leg at a time. You can do with little baby hop swishes. Kind of like a little like dance or you can try to make them a little bigger. So take some hop switches. It's a really good way to get your heart pumping in my favorite ways. And keep that gaze in between your hands the whole time. Pretending that you're ripping the mat apart with your hands and trying to land quietly-ish. <laughs> I know it's hard to do that. All right, taking one more each side for wherever you're at. Whew. And then come into a forward fold, just letting yourself relax. Huh. You can grab onto opposite elbows. You can also hook your big toes with your peace fingers. You can slide your hands underneath your feet. So whatever feels good to you. The hands under the feet feels really good right now. Um, give some good grounding after flying a little bit. And we know that we're gonna do some more. Just one more round. All right, so release your hands, curl all the way up to standing, and then let's move our Mats a little closer to the wall. It's a little bit closer. Ooh. And then we will use the wall to cool down too, because we can. I'll probably do it against this wall though, just so that you can see me better. Okay, so coming into your downward facing dog, get your hands a little closer to the wall. Awesome. All right, so for these, we're gonna start with some frog hops. And we'll start in like a little squat like this, so your knees out wide. And then you're going to jump up with your legs in a frog pose. There you go. So little frog hops. And you don't have to go up super high. Trying to do at least five. Remember to look in between your hands and to rip the mat apart. All 
awesome. And then just come to a seat. Feel the sweat beating out of your forehead. And take a few breaths here, just feeling yourself calming down. All right. And then make yourself over, make your way over to a wall. Set one of your hips against the wall and then bring your feet all the way up. <sighs> Taking your nice legs up the wall pose. If you have really tight hamstrings, this might not feel good this close to the wall, so you might want to take your hips back a little bit. And then take a hip opener here. You have a few options. So option one, so bring the soles of your feet together and drag them down the wall, coming into a wall butterfly. Option one. Option two is to straddle your legs open any amount. That's option two. Option three, so plant your feet on the wall, your knees are bent, and then start making like a rainbow shape with your legs, coming into a frog pose on the wall. So taking any shape, I like this one because I feel like I can control the descent a little bit more, so that's why I ended with it. And they're definitely, one is not greater than the other, I just feel like in butterfly and in straddle, I can go too far too quickly. Whereas in frog, I feel like I have more leverage to keep my hips safer. So it's whatever your body is telling you that you need. Huh. And as you stay here, we just heated up our body with all that movement. So now we're able to settle in to a yummy hip opener taking the time to really allow gravity to do its work. And if we were to do any of these on the mat, it would feel different. Because gravity is just in a completely different orientation. So I just love playing around with that, like flipping poses in different directions. All right, when you're ready, extend your legs up. Bring your knees to your chest and then roll over to one side and find your way to a seat. Any seat will do, bring your hands to your heart. All right, so that was a, a short but very fiery practice that we just did. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you had fun. Please feel free or just please <laughs> like, share, comment below subscribe. Let's try to get some more people taking daily pauses on our mats and daily pauses that aren't filtered or rehearsed. They're just authentic and you're taking your time or the time to take care of yourself. If we all did that, I think we would all be just a little bit kinder and that would make a true difference. All right. I hope that you have the most beautiful day. Bye.